college football, Western Michigan. Very impressive again. Broncos run the record to 9-0. Took on Ball State on the road. Darius Phillips, a pick six, 75-yard return. Western had an early 7-0 lead in the first quarter. Ball State came back, tied it. But Western, Jarvion Franklin, 23-yard touchdown run, 14-7 Broncos. Still in the first quarter, Zach Terrell to Corey Davis. These two were magical on this night. This is a 57-yard strike. Davis wide open, 21-7. And then watch this catch in the second quarter. Terrell to Davis. He reaches over the defender, hauls it in. He had three touchdowns over 270 yards receiving. Broncos win it 52-20, to now 8-0. And after that win for the first time this morning, we're hearing what the Broncos are saying with that dominating performance. Larry Figurski was in Muncie, Indiana. He talked to the players and coach P.J. Fleck after the game. He's got their reaction. Well, the Western Michigan Broncos moving one step closer to their first MAC championship in 18 years and perhaps a perfect season with another dominating performance, this time against Ball State and in front of a national television audience late last night here in Muncie, Indiana. Corey Davis leading the way with a school and MAC record 272 yards receiving on 12 receptions and for three touchdowns. Feels really good, but uh, not enough. Feels a lot better. And, uh, you know, we got to keep it going. We've got a lot more work to do. Um, what we're doing here is just change. we changed the culture. And uh, people are starting, really starting to buy in. And the community and the pride that I'm seeing uh, and all the alums and stuff like that has been a ton of fun to be a part of. But we still got a lot of work to do. It's still um, we got a, a, a tough opponent next week, and it's right back to it. And we just want to continue to keep growing. We want to continue to learn from this. There's so much of today that we have to get better at. Uh, and I think that's what we're really going to see as we continue to move forward. And the Broncos will be right back in front of a national television audience again next Next Tuesday when they travel to Kent State to meet the Golden Flashes looking for their 10th consecutive win. In Muncie, Indiana, Larry Figurski, 24-hour news 8. So the